ever since Endgame, and you're actually holding that Captain America shield. Now we got you in costume as Captain America. What's this whole thing been like for you, man? Um, you know, it's been it's been humbling, but at the same time, it's uh, it's it's been uh, life affirming. Um, you know, I don't. It's funny with the Oscars being two nights ago. This is kind of like winning an Oscar. I think this even more so, uh, just because of the amount of work that I put in and time I put in to get here, um, and the amount of sacrifices I've made to get here. Uh, you know, it, there's nothing like someone entrusting you to be the face of their brand um, on this level. Uh, I've never black actors don't get those opportunities. So uh, it's exciting. I'm I'm excited about the potential to fail. <laughs> <laughs> the potential to fail. That's a good way to look at it, man. I mean, and you're right. You've been you've been pushing for so long, brother. Like I remember seeing you in a what was it, Eight Mile? Yeah, uh, Eminem. Two thousand one. Yep. Uh huh. And you've been you've been pushing and pushing, and you know I, I'm just so happy. A lot of us are to see you having your moment, right, and finally being able to be in the spotlight. Now Thank you tweeted, you. of course, man, of course. And you tweeted in 2014 uh, about Sam Wilson in the comics. You're celebrating him becoming Captain America. When did you know that your version of Sam Wilson was going to play out on screen um, and become Captain America? What was your initial reaction to that? Um. I had a meeting with Marvel like in early 2019 um, and they told me what was going to happen, what was going on and, you know, where the character was going. Um, so from then I was, I mean, it was, it was very, to be honest, it was very emotional. Like, you know, like I said, there's no rhyme or reason uh, why, you know, it took 21 years to get here, but this opportunity definitely makes those 21 years well, well worth the wait. Mm -hmm. A special 21 indeed, man. I know the pandemic kind of threw everything off with timing, but this show still felt really timely. Uh, episode five in particular was a heavy one and something that me and a lot of my, a lot of my black friends, we talk about to this day, the symbolism, uh, you, your character wiping blood off the Captain America shield, the emotion, the weight, um, and this moment we're going through in this country, I wonder what it was like for you actually going through the script. Did you feel that power in what this show could be? Uh, definitely. Um, you know, this, this symbol, this idea, you know, this, this, uh, this idea of what the American, she, what, what the, the, the idea of being an American is, is very important right now. And, you know, the black man has had a very tumultuous relationship with the, the idea of what America is. And, you know, it, it's funny because when I think episode five was probably some of the best TV I've seen in a long time uh, to take um, superheroes in a, a, a super unrealistic way, humanize them to where you can relate to a way to where you yourself can see yourself in that situation um was unheard of unthought of but you know marvel has done it over and over and over again so when i read the script i knew that moment i knew that that uh, episode was going to be powerful pe for people mm -hmm. um just simply because of you know everything that's going on and where we are as as a people in this society today yeah man for sure and symbols matter i mean they really do watching i'm a i'm a proud uncle of a nephew and watching, you know, Sam Wilson's nephews playing with the shield and reacting yeah. to this moment, that hits, man. It really does in a special way. Um, yeah, you thank you. Thank you. And it's, it's important. I mean, you know, being a, you know, a dad of four boys, you know, it's very important for not only for them to look at and recognize what just happened, but for their friends to do it. You know, there's so many parties uh, birthday parties or events that I take my son to, and he's the only little black dude, you know, but you come to my house for his party and it's like a crayon box back there. You, you know, you have no idea where people are from or what their uh, ethnic background is, but that's how you learn, evolve and accept people uh, for their cultural importance and relevance and what we are as a melting pot. 
you know, mm -hmm. and I think, you know, a good step in that direction is giving them something to look at that they hold important to spark a conversation. So I'm excited for the idea of not only little black kids, but little white kids, little Latino kids, little Asian kids to look and see a Captain America that does not look like what they expected him to look like. Mm -hmm. And beyond just being a different race, I mean, this is a different Captain America. You say in the in the monologue, the monologue, no super serum, no blonde hair, blue eyes. The only power I have is the belief that we can do better. Right. What, does that, what does that say to you about the difference between uh, a Sam Wilson and a Steve Rogers and how that Captain America, your Captain America, is going to be different? Well, it's, it says that he's completely different. You know, I always laugh and joke. And I'm like, Sam Wilson is a dude who went out for a jog and came home and became an Avenger. <laughs> like that is a hell of an upgrade from the time you left your house to the time you got back, you know? That's so it's, in, it's important to realize that he doesn't have superpowers. You know, he doesn't even have a super suit. He just has wings. You know, so you have to be an extraordinary. And, and that's why I love the relationship between uh, John Walker and Sam Wilson in the series. And, you know, what Wyatt Russell did so beautifully with this character was watching him tumble down this hill of insecurity to where he feel as great as he is. You know, it shows the difference between him and Steve Rogers, where he has to take the super soldier serum. You know, it, it the the duality between those two characters was really beautifully played and flushed out in a great way. And, uh, you know, what Wyatt Russell did with that character should not be overlooked. I mean, it was it was great. It was great. Whole cast, really. Real quick, man. I know you got to stay tight lipped to a degree, but we got the announcement or at least the news that Captain America 4 you're going to be leading it. You are Captain America going forward. The Twitter accounts change and everything. Uh, I know you can't reveal much, but having your own leading vehicle in this way, what can we expect? Or at least what are you hoping to see for your Captain America film? Uh, I don't know. To be honest, I haven't heard from anybody at Marvel about this. I found out yesterday in the grocery store <laughs> at the checkout counter was like, yo, is this true? And I'm like, man, I, do, I, I haven't heard from anybody. So we'll see. Uh, but my man Dwayne in the uh, grocery store is very excited. <laughs> Him and, and my boy uh, Dina over there at our, our grocery store. We all excited, man. <laughs> Anthony, congratulations to you, man, and I can't wait to see what's to come. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it.